I say bring it on. The charge me you've got, I will get off the pot, man! Oi! It's your time that's running out, it's not mine. Oi! Is anybody listening to me? Oi! You're gonna keep the noise down. You're stalling. You're trying to wear me down so I'll say anything, right? Well, it's not gonna happen. Point taken. Gonna shut up now. Well, just get bent on me, will ya? Oi! Come on, please! Look, get me out of here! Kane! Kane! You're gonna wake him up. Then let me out! In a bit. No! Or I swear I'll never forgive you. Look, they could be charging him right now. Don't let this happen. It's not right! No one is getting charged. Trust me. Uh! Any news? Nah. That's good then. They can't have charged him. Mm. So, Alex. I've got a lot on my mind, Liv. Right, which is why you need a distraction. Have you called him? Yes, I've called him. And? And he's dragging me out Christmas shopping later. OK, great. Maybe you could swing by the pub first? Swing by the pub? Since when have you ever said swing by the pub? Don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's what my mum says, so... I might have mentioned it to her. And she might have suggested that you two... What, swing by the pub? Perfect. A quick drink, a chance to say hello, that's all. It was never all. She's just curious. She keeps going on about how everybody's met Alex, except her. No, she just wants to stick her nose in. And she wants to stick her nose in, yeah. I'll tell her lunchtime, yeah? Liv! Do you want her off your back or not? Let her shake his hand, tell him how great you are, buy him a drink, and then you can do your own thing. Otherwise, she'll be on at me. Tell her. One drink and then we're going. I'm not sure whether to expect you after what's happened. Yeah, well, I'm all mended now. I'm not talking about you, Ed. You've had enough mileage out of that. I'm talking about Adam. Well, still there's work to do. Besides, it's not Mario's fault, is it? No, no, it isn't. Where are you going? I'm just getting the rotor. I have no idea who's working where. Well, I'll get it. Well, you're all right. I need to speak to her anyway. Well, talk to me. Well, she's the boss, you're not. But she'll know where I need to put the temps. I'm telling you to leave her alone. Well, leave her alone. What are you, a mind, though? Look, if you think I've come round here to have a go, then you're wrong. <laughs> Don't be stupid. She's in a state, that's all. I didn't expect her to fall apart like this. She's been up the whole night and she, she's only just got to sleep, so... OK. But I still need that rotor. The brew won't go on this either. Enjoy your day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see this woman here, the one I've just served. Watch this as she leaves. There. She does that every day, like we're a free news agent. She probably thinks she can get away with it every day. Some people are like that, you know. They push their luck and they push their luck and then they get caught. And after a while, they do it again. <sighs> Brenda, please. I just thought if we could get through the day, we might find some common ground. And then what? Well, then you might reconsider. What? Well, Get through the day, get through the rest of our lives. That's a coward's way, Bob. No, but nothing's set in stone, is it? I, I still think a proper chat. What am I going to do 
with a chat. You need to know that I'm sorry. I know how sorry you are. You're sorry you got caught. Oh, look, here we are. Talking about you as usual. Like, I need to know how you feel. No, 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 we, we need a proper talk, and then he can tell me how you feel. I can't stand seeing you so upset. I'm not upset. I'm angry. I am furious. <laughs> to have been so stupid to think that you could change the habit of a lifetime and act like a decent man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look what I've done. Silly Brenda. Bob, get a dustpan and brush and I'll just see what these two want for breakfast. Let's go somewhere nice for brunch, like a goodbye treat. I said I'd see Gabby. Oh. What? Nothing. I don't want to be needy. I just thought it would be nice for us to do something together. I need to finish packing. Sorry. She goes. Yeah, left all her packing to the last minute. You know what they're like. So I heard the good news. Lydia, you must be well happy. Although, to be honest, you don't look well happy. No, I am, thanks. I need the keys. Vanessa, are you all right? Oh, I don't know. I mean, she's my daughter, and yet everything's so awkward between us. I can't seem to say the right thing. I think she hates me. No. I have to go. Oh, come on. It's not like you two don't have arguments. Not proper ones. Yeah, we do. See? Everybody does when they spend a lot of time together. Are you going to dump, Dad? You shouldn't be nasty to him like that. Hey, nobody's been nasty to anybody. Brenda was just a bit cross with me, that's all. You know what? I deserved it. What have you done? Well, that doesn't matter now. The, the important thing is that I've said sorry and that me and Brenda love each other, so we'll be fine. I'm not hungry. I don't. Everybody's just hurting. I'll get some coffees. Hey, keeping. I don't know. It's all a bit weird, isn't it? Nobody knows what to say to each other. I expected it to be awkward at work, but it's even weirder than that. So if you know what's going on, maybe you could do me a favour and tell me. Why would I know anything? Well, I thought you might have spoken to you. Okay. Never mind. Cheers, Bob. Uh, you saw Kane? Have you heard anything yet? What, he's at the farm? But still, still. Yeah, I got the full-on treatment yesterday. He told Myra that Adam had been released. He what? Yeah, and then he went nuts at me when I put a riot. Well, I wasn't even allowed in the farm. But apparently she's too upset to see anyone. Looked like I'd had a rough night of it. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, please, if it's that stupid video of a hamster riding an eagle, you do know it's been photoshopped. What? No, it's Rona. What, riding an eagle? Being ridden by a hamster? Standing me up. Vanessa! Are you too timing me? Oh, and you should try and pull a fast one. Paddy's hiding. No, Paddy's through there, I think. So it's left to me to do the annual schmooze of Veronica. Oh, she's a high-value client. We pay for lunch and listen to her insult us. Uh, is she a farmer? No, I a stud farm. What, and that can't put a smile on her face? I do know what a stud farm is, I was joking. So this Veronica, is she a sour-faced, witchy-looking thing? Selfies, witchy, and teetotal. Why do you know her? No, I don't. Just guessing. Have you got a clench? Hi, Ah, And you must be Alex. <laughs> Obviously. Nice to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> I just. Staying for a drink, just one drink. Yeah, I'm making do a bit of last minute Christmas shopping or early Christmas shopping as he calls it. <laughs> <laughs> on an empty stomach. <laughs> no, not on my watch. Nice one, I'm starving me. I'm sorry about this. Hurry, come on. Shh. Moira.
Mara? Get off! I want you! I can't do that. Look, the truth is the truth. It's got to come out. Let's see if you still think that when Adam's home tomorrow. Then you can do what you want. Ken! Victoria or Myra will be in touch if anything changes. So let's say I fall off a tall building. Ooh, we can all live in hope. <laughs> <laughs> and I landed on my gerbil. He said one drink, huh? And I go to Paddy, and my gerbil goes to you, Alex. You don't have a gerbil. Which one of you to do a better job at patching us up? Probably Alex. I wouldn't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you stop talking? I'm so sorry. Who's invited you? She did. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, mate. I'd fix you up and your gerbil. Oh. So, I'm, um, what do you do for work? I'm a gigolo. 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 I knew this was a bad idea. That's amazing. You know, I, I said that as soon as I walked through the door, didn't I, Erin? That or an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, everyone, don't mind me. Just looking for a lipstick. So, where are you from originally? Uh, just outside Harrogate. Oh. Hello again. Erin's hot doctor. Charity. You remember my name? You remember my name? Did you hear that? No, I heard it, yeah. That is charming, thank you. Hey, nice work. You've excelled yourself this time, haven't you? Why don't you just go? That's a bit rude. Maybe he's coming down with something. Hey, maybe you should uh, take his temperature. <laughs> oh, there's a lipstick. I'll see you later, guys. <sighs> see you stopping for pod. Uh, yeah, we that sounds lovely. Quickly, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I never know when he rejects a pudding. Aww. <laughs> Next time, I'll choose the restaurant. <laughs> it's like I got in my car in 2017 and got out in 1987. Keith Floyd in the kitchen and pound shop Kim Basinger behind the bar. Do you mind? People are nice here. <laughs> oh, bless. I wonder if they possess a coffee machine here and if anyone knows how to use it. Excuse me. If I said to you, espresso, what would spring to mind? Mm, small and bitter. Well done. Now trot off and make me one. And what are you having, babe? Hold that thought. I know exactly what you want. Hey, maybe you should have a word. What are you doing? Drinking on your own. Where's Dee Dee? Gabby's seen her off. What do you mean, Gabby's... You're her mother. You have got to be there. It's too awkward. She can't stand being around me. Doug's taking her to the airport, so I'd rather let her say her goodbyes in peace, not spoil it for her. You go. Give her a hug from me. <gasps> so, Alex, I bet this time's in a right stinker of a mood, and you're just like... No one's looking. I write myself a prescription for something fun. <laughs> All the time. Everyone does it. The whole place, all the doctors completely off their heads. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> is that you? No, oh, it is you. That's the hospital, isn't it? Hello? He's on call, so we might have to go if it's an emergency. Right, OK. Is there uh, much bleeding? OK, reckon she'll cling on till I get there. OK, well, tracheotomise her, uh, make sure her blood pressure's stable and pump her full of um, antibiotics. Right, I'm on my way. Bye-bye. I'm so, so sorry. No, 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 it sounds urgent. Yeah, what's happened? A, a woman fell on one of those veg dices and she put her hands out to stop herself and... Sliced and diced herself pretty bad. Poor woman. Yeah, well, thanks for everything. <sighs> Let's see what Mummy's doing. Come on. Myra? Myra? What now, eh? What now? Hi. 
Moira. Hi. Hey. I thought I'd check on Moira, see how she is. Saw your car was outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm just helping out, so. Uh... It's okay. There's a time and place for jealous girlfriend, and this isn't it. Oh, where is she? She's asleep, so. Uh... Get along, wake her up. I'm so sorry. It was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. You could have said anything to be fair. My mum loves you. So why uh, now? Your place? I thought you wanted to go shopping. Oh, I thought you said you didn't. Not mind. Nice. Oh, anyway, it's a bit late now, isn't it? Yeah, late night shopping. We've got loads of time. Yeah, but they'll be packed. Anyway, I don't deal with crowds well. I make out like it's claustrophobia, but really, I'm just not very nice. <laughs> I bet your place is quiet. <sighs> What's the matter? I forgot to have the dead body of the last doctor you took home. <laughs> yeah. Come on, then. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of your delicious coffees, please, Charity. A large one. Oh, was there anything to your satisfaction, by the way? She loved it. <sighs> Don't pander, Vanessa. You know as well as I do, the lunch was mediocre. It was very nice. <sighs> the lunch was nice. People are nice. It's not a great quality in a person, if you ask me. Wafting through life, taking the easy option. Excuse me, you know nothing about Vanessa. Or a life. Charity don't. Rona's not afraid of speaking her mind. Probably why she's not even here, because it's safer that way. Rona stood you up. Paddy stood you up. She's the only one who won't actually throttle you. I think you need to go and get the owner. I am the owner. So I'd like you to leave right now, please. Or I will pull that poker right out your backside and hit you over the head with it, yeah? Go on, trot on. You're drunk. I'll make sure Paddy Kirk hears about this. I cannot believe you just did that. Oh, my heart is racing. Yes, so is mine. Meet you down the cellar in two minutes, yeah? What? You heard. Well, sir. Who cares, Vanessa? Any more cake left? Have you not got somewhere else you need to be? Yeah, maybe someone's in urgent need of your special skills and all. You know, like annoying people and setting fire to stuff. That veggie slicer accident sounded nasty. I knew someone who lost the end of his tongue to a mechanical budgie. <sighs> Washing up's done. Oh, just telling Paddy about Stu and the mechanical budgie. Or Stu, as he's now called. <laughs> Shut up, Jerry. How'd you know that responsibility, though? Someone's life in the balance. You're joking. You do know that wasn't the hospital calling. It's the oldest trick in the book. Just something so vulnerable about her. I like her, Bob. <laughs> you made one mistake. That's all. She made one mistake. Now look. Eh? Going the separate ways without even talking. What are you actually doing here? It's not even your shift. Do you know? I think it's about time you two had a chat and all. Atmosphere in here. Putting the punters off. Brenda. Thank you. What for? Well, for how you handled the twins earlier. Now, I know everybody thinks I'm a bit daft. Mm. And I don't mind acting that way if it makes them laugh. But I'm not, you know, I'm really... Not stupid. I, I, I don't think you are stupid, but, but you know, I do think you're being a bit hasty. All I want is some time just to work things out. I've been on this planet long enough to know a few things, and one of them is that you don't forget. Not something like this. And I know I'm the one ending it. But this is your fault. You did this. And you've got to tell the kids. Break their hearts. You could have just been straight with me. You didn't have to sneak up here. No one's sneaking. Acting pretty shifty, though, if you ask me. Ooh. What? 
either we've reached that stage in our relationship that I prefer we didn't reach, or Isaac needs changing. Oh, right, yeah. Go on, I'll do it if you like. Where does she keep the... No, no, I can do it, I can do it, it's fine. Fine. Again, Kane, shifty. I'm suddenly a big fan of changing nappies. It's, uh, it's me. I've made you a brew. Moira? What are you doing? I told you she was sleeping. She's locked herself in. Why would she do that? Moira? What are you doing? I'm getting the key. Well, you locked her in. Yeah, for her own good. What do you mean, for her own good? I found her with some pills. So you locked her in a room? She must have still had the keys on her. This isn't rational behaviour. Look after Isaac for me, will you? You don't even know where she's gone. Could you do this one thing for me? And we're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.